Good afternoon, TikTok, and welcome to William's walk through the mausoleum. Do you know what happens after your funeral? In a few short hours, the crying will die down, and your family will be busy making arrangements for food or drink for your friends and relatives. Some of your relatives will start discussing current events over coffee. And some people will call your family to tell them that they can't make it in person because of an emergency. Some people will secretly start making travel arrangements because life is just too short. And someone in your family will start arguing that they contributed more financially to the funeral than others did. Eventually the crowd is going to go their separate ways. And in the coming days and weeks, your cell phone might ring on occasion from people who didn't realize that you've died. Your employer will begin to search for your replacement. In a few days, your children will go back to work because their bereavement leave has run out. In a month, your spouse will be watching a comedy on TV and start to laugh. You'll be forgotten at an astonishing pace. Everyone's life will go back to normal. There'll be new elections, new scandals, and the traffic on the daily commute will be the same. And the Super Bowl will go on just as planned. Meanwhile, the first anniversary of your passing will be celebrated in a grand manner. But in the blink of an eye, years are going to have gone by and there'll be very few people left to remember you. One day, looking at old photos, a friend might remember you. In your community, of the hundreds of people you became acquainted with, only one person may remember you and think about you sometime. Now tell me, if people will forget you so easily, then who are you living your life for? Who are you worried about? You spent your whole life worrying about what people will think about you. They don't. And they won't. So live your life for you.